pole and see what happens. Uh, that's a big stone bitch right there. Oh. So on my way home from the Poughkeepsie Bottle Show, which I didn't take any freaking pictures of, I don't know why, but I stopped at a river that was on the way, and I pulled that out. It's an HP Co. Have it already, and it's not that nice a shape, so I'm gonna leave it. But we're gonna show you. See what else we have over here. It's like an old. PD and Co. I don't know what that is. I'll let you know if I find anything else. So you see that? Let's see what it is. flesh on it, so I'm not going to touch it. No idea what it is. Probably a raccoon or something. Or. Alright, so I just came across this. I can see some embossing on it. Not sure what it is yet. It says raw, eh? Uh, maybe a rolling bottom works. Oh, uh, it's cool. Sweet. See what it says. Hopefully it's embossed besides just rolling on the bottom. Nope, rolling bottling works. No slug plate. Ah. Uh, okay, good dog, I guess. big bottle we provide down here. A lot of fragments around too. You see that old uh, food product over there. I'll take you a quick look around with me. Probably a Heinz. Let's take a look. Oh. I should off. H Hines. It's a little food product. Alright, let's see what else. And this just says the Raleigh Bottle and Works, Raleigh, New Jersey. Oh well. I have one that says that the uh, slug plated Raleigh Bottling Works. Let's see what else we find. Right, so I clean the Raleigh Bottle up. Raleigh Bottling Works. I'm going to show you a couple from this company with some slug plates and some uh, another one that you'll see it's pretty cool all right so here's a quick look at the one i said i had that was slug plated this is the raleigh bottling works from raleigh little crown top and I'll show you another one i have this is the smaller version of it and it has a pop top have the little version of it and I'll show you a cool bottle that they make the same company it has icicles on it so this is also from the Raleigh Bottle of Works and it has icicles real thick base too so Added that one, added the new one to my collection, so now I have another one. Alright, All right, so I came across that little guy, you see it? Right there. Probably a bronze or 
bromo seltzer. <clears throat> yep, cobalt blue bromo seltzer with the three little tabs. It's not that old, but see it's blue. Got a little guy out, little crayfish, crawdad, whatever you want to call him. I call him crayfish. I used to catch these little guys all the time when I was down in this creek when I was a kid. Right. Oh, let him go. All right, buddy, see you later. And then I found this thing. It's made out of wood. Something metal, it looks like. I don't know. There's like a spike going through it. No idea what that is. Anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Right, so I've been walking up this river. I must have flipped 50 bricks over. And uh, not one of them had anything embossed on except for uh, one exit, SNF Beco, which are super common. And while well, I'm here, I wanted to show you that this pile of garbage here. You can see somebody's address on there. That, that's what's left of uh, someone's house from the last uh, hurricane we had here. Wound up in the river here. It, uh, literally blew up and then the flood washed it down here. So that's part of the side of the house. I think there's more over here. Yeah. Another side of the house. Right, I just thought I'd show you. There's a little fragment I picked up off the bank. This is 1930. All right, so I came across that. It's just a hobble skirt. Coke, but we'll see what it looks like. Looks busted, but let's see, maybe it's an old one. <clears throat> it is from New York. And it's just a registered. That's it. I don't know if that's a modern one or what, but definitely has some embossing on it. But a oh, so I came across a couple bricks of Richmond. This is a uh, old uh, candy plate uh, dish top. But uh, this is. But if you see all the bricks around, right? And then I flip this one over. And I don't think I have this one. It's an M. It's an LW. So I'm gonna take it right next to a uh, old insulator. Looks like a huge one. Wow. That would have been a big boy. Alright, so here's another one. If I have this, this is gonna be an upgrade. Alright, so I found three more. It's so hot. Found a really nice PB co. Really good shape. Found another one of these M and uh, LWs. And then look at that one star brick. That's a cool one. Alright. Finding a lot down here. They're literally all over the place. Just flipping them all over. And I'm getting lucky in finding a couple. So I found a really nice HB, HB co, but the corner is knocked out of it. Let's see what else we can find live here. There's an S and F co. Let's see what else. There's a real common S S and F B Co. S and F Co. A whole bunch of different ones right here. Trico, broken. There. Really nice 
Just try to. Uh, got enough of them now. Sure, it's a DD or an OO. I don't know which. I have one of these, but I don't know if that's better. Better sheep or not. It's an I'm gonna have to leave that one here. Maybe I'll grab it on the way back. D and D. Oh, another one. Nothing. I can't believe I haven't found no bottles yet. find anything else as let you know. Alright, so check that thing out. So let me check a couple bricks. Shitload over here. Alright, nothing's named. But look at this. Little tunnel. Made out of bricks. Underneath a bridge. So I guess this is old old uh, pipes you can see look at this bridge it's all made out of bricks they're probably all SNF Bicos oh let's see if we can find anything while I'm here uh, I don't see nothing Right, I'll let you know if I find anything. Right, so here's the four bricks that I pulled out that I kept before I clean them. I'm gonna show you when I clean them up. I think that one's better than the one I have and I'm pretty sure that one's better than the one I have. And that one's definitely better than the one I have. And that one I never found with a one star that big. And so I'll show them to you when I'm done cleaning them. <laughs> 